vitamin D and omega-3 trial, VITAL, is a large-scale randomized clinical trial in primary prevention, a usual risk population of nearly 26,000 men and women nationwide in the United States, midlife and older um, ages. And its goal was to look at the effect of vitamin D supplements, 2,000 I use a day, and omega-3, one gram a day, um, both the independent and the joint effects of these two uh, interventions in preventing cardiovascular disease and cancer. So the major primary endpoint of the trial was combined cardiovascular events, at which was heart attack, stroke, and cardiovascular mortality. And then we also had an interest in pre-specified secondary endpoints, looking at heart attack and stroke and CVD mortality in an expanded composite. What we found, there are two main signals in the trial. Um, although there was no reduction in the primary endpoint of major cardiovascular events, we did see a significant reduction in heart attack, about 28% reduction in heart attack. And it was particularly in those who had low uh, fish consumption. At the end of the day, uh, the results now reported show that vitamin D did not reduce the risk of cancer and did not reduce the risk of heart disease. So that, uh, as many of us feared, this cult of vitamin D use turned out not to be an effective approach to preventing disease. And it's a warning that this widespread use of dietary supplements without good scientific evidence can lead us to make mistakes. With vitamin D, we saw a signal for a reduction in cancer death, which has been seen in other trials as well when they've been looked at in a meta-analysis, that the benefit of vitamin D may be um, more in reducing cancer death and cancer incidence if it affects the biology of the tumors and makes them less invasive and less likely to metastasize. The other part was the fish oil and that, that also has been a, a big question from a primary prevention standpoint. Should everybody be on fish oil? Is there a benefit? There's a lot of money being spent on supplements without evidence and I think this is an important first step. We're getting a question, questions answered about vitamin D, we're getting our questions answered about fish oil, but there's so many other supplements people are taking and I think this will really drive the research to get be able to better guide our patients. Similarly, the fish oil study also did not show a benefit on heart disease or on cancer for the primary endpoints. There was a suggestion of a reduction in myocardial infarction with fish oil, but it was a component of the primary endpoint. And so it's difficult to interpret results when looking at a component of the endpoint and would be considered a hypothesis generating result, not definitive proof. We do think that the findings need to be interpreted with caution because these are you know, subgroup and sec uh, findings and secondary analyses. However, there was a signal there for a reduction in heart attack with the omega-3s and also a, a reduction in some additional coronary endpoints such as PCI, uh, fatal MI, and combined coronary heart disease events. I am always surprised when our medical community uses something that doesn't have evidence and I, I was really shocked by vitamin D and I was so glad we were all happy that we knew vital was going on and waiting for it but telling patients to wait was a harder thing patients see this abnormal value they might check it themselves they might their physician may be checking it and they're wondering why you're not responding to it why are you not making this number better why would you advise against it and headlines other news had been saying that repleting vitamin D might look lower your risk of heart disease. Right now, we don't have that evidence. What your clinicians do, our recommendation is that overall, um, we don't think everyone should be started on either uh, high dose vitamin D supplements or fish oil. There are many people already taking these supplements. We did not see uh, significant side effects or adverse events. We don't think there was any clear uh, reason based on the finding for everyone to stop doing what they're already doing if they're taking fish oil or, or vitamin D. However, um, not recommending at this point that 
people go, begin to take these supplements, we think we need confirmation of these findings. And there may be some people, such as th those with low fish consumption and uh, African Americans who may want to consult with their healthcare providers and see if they're candidates for um, beginning these, uh, uh, like the fish oil supplement for lowering the risk uh, of heart disease.